real. It's conditions, the weather, the everything. It's just, it's tough, but it's as hard as it is, it's that beautiful when you see it on screen and it pays off and it's like we're doing it, it's, it's all making sense. To me, it's, this is the pinnacle of what television should be, and it's a movie experience every time you get on the couch and watch it. And we're bringing it to you in your living room every week, and it's going to be, yeah, I think that they're going to gravitate towards it, the audiences. And when you're little, you don't really realize you don't see a lot of people that look like you. You just love cowboys and horses, and, and so you get older and you have the opportunity to bring life to a character that you didn't see growing up. So kids like me that are coming up now could see that and have a sense of pride like we were cowboys too. And that means something. I get emotional when I, you know, when I start thinking about it. I hope this is just the beginning for more stories to be told from people that look like me. Yeah, only for mama. I am it for mama. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, y'all. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, it's always kind of a stylized version of the Old West, it's kind of a mythical view of it. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, it was kind of shocking walking to the front door of the hotel. Yeah, it was like uh, we're in civilization night, again. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at those things. I know. <laughs> they have running water. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only way to have done this series is to have been completely immersed in the world. Yeah. So I wish that the Wranglers and everyone that's behind the scenes that never get the chance to be in front of the camera could be here because, wow, yeah. they, are, they are the heroes of all of this, really. For sure. So yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for your time. And so Taylor Sheridan wrote this cameo with me in mind for this 1883, and uh, I said, well, I'm on tour with a band. I don't know if I can do it right now. He said, I'll take you two days and come to Fort Worth. And, you know, and he said, it's Tim and Faith and Sam Elliott, all old friends of mine. And uh, Tim and I had worked together on Friday Night Lights years ago. And uh, Sam and I uh, were on Tombstone together in like 92 or something like that. And, uh, you know, they're all people that I've kept up with over the years. And uh, so to go down there with old friends uh, and work with a writer like Taylor, who's so great, it's like, why not? You know, you have to be careful about doing cameos. You can't do too many of them. So you got to pick them very carefully. And so this one was absolutely worth it. The scope of it, you know, it's, a, it's an extremely large cast, uh, you know, with 180 horses and 30 wagons, and, and there's no interiors. If it's 106 degrees, we're filming in 106 degrees. If we're in Montana and it's 20 degrees and it's snowing, we're filming in the snow. It's just what it is. Um, which creates challenges, but it also adds a real authenticity to the work and the world, and that's what it was like. And so to film in it, it, it is accurate. Absolutely. I mean, the more real you make it on set, the more real it's going to feel to the actors, the more real it's going to become for the audience. I try to hold the mirror up to, to the world and, and let people make their own decisions. So, so hopefully, I mean, you could take a very different message than, than someone else would take from it, and that's the way it should be. I mean, it's given you have to react to what's around you, and a sandstorm does something to you. In that sense, and I think honestly, for that scene, it adds something very special. I think it was supposed to happen because it's a very emotional moment, and in that chaos and the electricity, what's in the air is going to add something to it. So I think we're going to look back at it and say it's worth it. For me personally, no, I think it's. I think every project is is new, you know, and I think you can never create out of pressure or trying to please anyone, you know, you're just trying to be authentic and truthful and then it's you throw it out and people perceive it how they perceive it.